Okay, real talk time, guys. Does this hat make my head look like a mushroom tip? All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of this this year, I think, and I'm gonna try to get some gear reviews in. And um, you know, one of the the pieces of gear that is is particularly appropriate for this time of year to be discussing is cold weather headgear. Um, I will admit, and you guys may have noticed this from my videos, I'm a little bit of a hat snob. And so if a hat's a little bit weird, or if it's got a cool design, uh, or if it's even just kind of traditional, um, I'm apt to want to try it out. And so um, you know, the hat today I'm going to talk about is the Stormy Cromer. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of the Stormy Cromer hat before. Um, I've got a couple of different models here I'm going to show you. But basically this hat really interesting design oh can i keep that in focus gonna keep it in focus uh, a little bit all right good you can see here with uh, the stormy cromer uh this is a, a very traditional looking hat particularly with the flaps that tie over in the front um this is a usa made company they've been making their products in the usa for i think about 80 years now i think these came out in the 19 oh god that's 100 years i think these came out in the 1920s Anyway, uh, originally it was designed by a railroad engineer, and you know, kind of commonly you'll see it. Um, I think probably you know, it looks a lot like the Elmer Fudd hat. It's kind of you know, a very traditional looking kind of hunting and outdoor hat. Um, you know, one of the big things about these hats, and, and I'll show you here on on one of the other models. Now, this is this is the original Stormy Cromer hat right here. Um, really important to note the um, the construction on this. First of all, this is a, a six panel hat. Um, and I, I think that really actually helps kind of conform to different head shapes. Um, it, it kind of allows it to, to bend in, in a few different directions. So if your head's a little more oval or a little more square, um, it helps out. Um, one thing to note about this, this is 80% um, wool, 20% nylon construction. What that should mean for a kayak guy is that this hat does really, really well uh, in, in you know, nasty wet weather. Um, one of the best things that I like about this hat is that wool construction um, because, man, not only is it super warm, it wicks moisture like crazy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, try a pair of wool gloves in the wintertime. They do a shockingly good job of keeping your hands dry and warm in really nasty conditions. Again, right there, American-made Stormy Cromer hats. They're guaranteed for life. Um, I think they've got a replacement plan. If there's any problems with it, uh, you can um, you know, call the company and get a replacement. One thing I want to note here, uh, on the inside, this is like a cotton lining. It's almost kind of fleecy. Um, the model that I'm wearing right now actually is the one called the Rancher. I'll show you a little bit more in a second. But this is the original Stormy Cromer model. One thing I do want to point out right there, the hat size on this, 7 and 3 eighths is what I'm wearing. I will tell you that I do not have a big head. Uh, typically with a hat, uh, in most hat sizes for domestic companies, uh, I'm going to wear about a 7 and 1 eighths. Um, I do think with these hats, it's a good idea to size up at least one to two sizes. In this case, I've sized up two sizes. Um, you know, for you guys that are international, um, that would mean that I usually wear a 57. I would recommend if you're ordering this and you're, you're using international um, metric, I would say look for like a 58 or 59 centimeter. These do tend to fit very, very snugly. Um, and, you know, I'll show you why here in just a second. I would recommend going down because, you know, the reason why these flaps are in place, this actually has a built-in like gusset system on it. If I can pull it out, there we go. Easier to do this with two hands. But, oh, look at that. This is 1903 on the back. I guess it was made in 1903 uh, originally. All right, so these things are like over 100 years old then. Holy crap. Okay, anyway, um, so you can see what happens. You pull these, these sections down right here on this hat, and this allows that flap to deploy downwards to cover up your ears. Here, let me de demonstrate on my head real quick. All right, so here you can see with the uh, flaps pulled down, you can see it kind of tucks up over my ears there. I have a little bit of space down at the bottom, which works out fine if you've got like a scarf or like a tall collar or... Um, you know, like a net gaiter or something like that you're wearing. I'd say the great use for this hat is something where you're going to be out in like, you know, cool to mild temperatures and you're going to be looking at, you know, maybe like 40s or 50s or you're in a setting where you need some protection outside. Maybe it's like kind of a drizzly day, uh, but you also may need to go inside and you don't want to take off your hat because you got hat hair. Uh, it's pretty nice because this hat actually is not too overwhelming in terms of, of heat. 
uh, in, in an indoor setting, uh, you can still wear this hat and be comfortable if you need to for, for a while inside. Uh, I, I do frequently wear it inside. I, I love the way these hats look. I think they're unique. Um, you know, again, maybe a little bit Elmer Fuddish, but you know, if you've got a little bit of a retro vibe, um, you know, to your, to your look anyway, it's going to fit right in. Um, and like I say, I, I really, really like the design of this. You can definitely tell it's quality, um, you know, for USA uh, made, uh, for the price, I think it's actually pretty reasonable. Um, again, this is like kind of a mid to lightweight version. Let me show you what it looks like when you get into the heavier weight version. And this is called the Rancher. So here we go. I'm going to show you the Rancher. And as you can see earlier, when I had this on, I had the flaps pulled back with this one rather than having the flaps that kind of pull down it's a little more of a heavyweight design uh, this is one where you can take the flaps actually and just fold them up in place um, when you're not you're not wanting to wear them down um, but you can tell here from the thickness on the side this is a beefier much more heavy duty hat same wool construction on the outside and same six panel design that you can see up here on top Again, you know, that wool, uh, excellent in any kind of moisture conditions. Again, this is a 7 and 3 8 size. I've already given you the spiel about sizing up a little bit from what you would typically. Um, but um, I'll show you, uh, you know, really with this one, the biggest difference right here, you can see it on the outside cuff, is that fleece lining. This thing is probably a good, it feels eighth of an inch to maybe quarter inch thicker uh, with that fleece on there. This is a heavy duty hat. When you're outside in extremely cold temperatures, this is the hat. And one thing I'll note here too is because of the way that they've designed it, you can see it like right here. This folds down much, much um, uh, further down than the other hat. This will cover all the way down close to the back of my neck. Uh, and it'll definitely cover all of the ears. So you can see right here, as I've got this on, number one, this thing, and it definitely has a little more room up top, and, and you can definitely tell the insulation difference up, up top. But then on the sides, you can see how much further this pulls down. Guys, I'm telling you, forget about your stupid beanies. Like those things kind of suck, let's face it. Number one, you don't have a bill in front of you, so if you've got any kind of snow or sun or anything you're trying to shield yourself from, or you know, in the case of like kayaking, you know, maybe a little bit of spray, that beanie, you're just gonna eat it right on your face. This thing, you've got that bill that does help provide a little bit of protection, a little bit of sun protection. Uh, also helps, you know, gonna cut down on that glare. Any kind of moisture you've got coming down, it's gonna shield your eyes from that. But look how much further this tucks down. I mean, this is great. This tucks down, you know, all the way down into the back of your neck. Um, you know, this allows you to really kind of layer up in that area around your neck. And, and if you're keeping that area warm, man, it really helps out just in your overall comfort throughout the day. Um, now the Rancher, because of the extra insulation and the extra size difference, it is a little bit more expensive than what you're looking at for the original, um, the original model of the Stormy Cromer. I believe this is closer to $40. I believe the original Stormy Cromer, you can usually catch at most places, $25 to $30. Um, I, you know, honestly, there's a place in, in your wintertime gear for, in fall, spring, uh, for both hats. Um, right now outside today here, it's about 12 degrees in Oklahoma. Um, it is uh, a little bit windy. It is absolutely brutal outside. My hands are unbelievably cold and, and really just like laced with pain right now as I try to shoot this video. You can probably see how steady it is. That's not because of poor camera work. That's because I'm shivering. It is really cold outside. My head is not cold at all. I mean, uh, this is just a really killer outdoor hat. I've worn it for hours, um, you know, with, without wearing any earmuffs or any other type of head protection. This thing's legit. Um, it's got plenty of warmth and I uh, would highly recommend it. Like I say, very kayak friendly too because of that wool construction on the outside, nylon construction of the main body of this. It's not going to soak up a bunch of, of moisture from the outside. Now, obviously, if you just drop it in the lake, you know, or it blows off your, your head or something like that, then you may be in a situation where it's going to be a little too soggy to use. But I've been out in this in like light rains and drizzles, uh, snow, and, and you don't ever get any moisture that gets through to your, to your actual, your, your head layer. Uh, it does a very good job of protecting and, protecting and insulating. So there you go. You can see the, the rancher design there. Um, they have a lot of different colors. You can check out colors online. Um, you know, I, I personally just like the gray because I think it, it blends with most outfits pretty well and, and makes it look a little more contemporary uh if you do want to go uh you know whole hog elmer fudd 
They do have a uh, red plaid version that you can get. Uh, they've got plenty of other plaid versions, green and black plaid, uh, blue plaid. And so you've got plenty of options there. You can get as retro as you want to get with this. But uh, man, I tell you what, great hats. Check out this company, uh, USA made company and you know, cool design harkens back all the way from 1903. Uh, Stormy Cromer apparently was a railroad engineer and got tired of hats blowing off when he would stick his head out uh, on the train when it was moving and would also just get tired of, of not being able to, to keep his ears warm. And so that's where he originally came up with this design. And uh, man, I tell you what, it's a killer. It's been around for 100 plus years. Uh, it's worth a look if you're you're checking out, um, you know, any headgear to beef up your kayak or outdoor wear um, during the winter time. All right, thanks a lot, guys.